and welcome back to the channel. Uh, today I'm going to be showing you how to do the player capes things, but a much more in-depth tutorial because some people are really having issues. Okie dokie, so first of all you want to go to this link on Twitter and this is the link for MCP for Minecraft 1.9. Pardon me. Um, so yep, yeah, my MCP stands for uh, Minecraft Coders Pack. So yep, yeah, so you want to download this. So you click download, blip, and then we'll just wait for this to download. We open it. You literally want to make a new folder on your desktop and drag it in. So I've got mine right here, new folder, like so. Uh, so yeah. And then what you want to do, you want to open Minecraft up and uh, click edit profile. Go to 1.9, click save, and then click go. So this basically just means that we have uh, 1.9 uh, done. So just double check that uh, everything is working correctly to make sure you are indeed, in fact, um, running 1.9. So you can see I am. So yeah. So let's click this and. Then we can close this. Then in this new folder, you want to find the bat file which says decompile. And then you want to double click it and click run. Then this window will pop up right here. And then you just need to wait for this to be done. Okay, so while you're doing that, you want to go to the next link in the description and download Eclipse. So this is the uh, Java program I'm using. Uh, you want to get to the Java Eclipse ID for Java E developers, so this one right here, and in the 32 or 64 bit for your uh, PC, which can be found, I think, if you go to. Oh god. Uh, I think if you go to. Properties on here. And then. I'm on. The, my old PC, so that's why I got such shitty specs. Um, I can't see it. It usually says, oh yeah, right here, 60, uh, 64. Or it says 32 um, bit, you want the 32 bit one. So yeah. So while this has gone down, this is going to be decompiling shit. Uh, so we've done that, we've done that. Uh, here's the hentai page and you'll be wanting this, the, the three things here and then I'll also be showing you how to get the Optifine capes because as you can see Optifine has not yet been released for uh, 1.9 so yeah we'll just wait for this to do and I'll catch you in a minute okie dokie uh, so now it's finished so press any key to continue so we just have a quick look in the source folder so this is in the mcp bit you just extracted so source minecraft and then net and start okie dokie um, so then you want to go and open eclipse so uh, client eclipse eclipse you installed the eclipse so then you want to browse and then you want to find the new folder and then you want to click the eclipse folder uh, don't go into it just click the eclipse eclipse and click ok click ok again and wait for it to load Okay, okay, so here's our client source. So this is all of our Minecraft source. Uh, if yours has a little like red exclamation mark on it, which it will, you right click on the client, you scroll right down here to build path, then click configure build path. Then you go to, uh, it will be in order and export, you click libraries, and then it will be on realms. So it will have like a little red exclamation mark and then you click edit and then you simply delete the 1.8.6 on there you also want to be 1.8.6 click realms and then uh, you search for realms you click ok and you click apply then click ok 
So now for inserting the code. So the first part of the code we can see here. So right here, this is if you want a custom cape. Okie dokie. And this one right here. So um, if you go back to here, the top one is for Optifine and the one here is for the custom capes. Okay. But yeah, I'll put links. So this is for Optifine. As you can see right um right here i was looking at that's network player info uh fuck fuck boys okay so yeah so this is the up to fun one so we're going to do the uh custom capes one so you can see it says keep your URL here. So you go right down to this raw paste data. Pardon me. Click Control A, Control C. So we've copied all of this code. We go back into Eclipse. Then we go to. Then we need to find Net Minecraft Client Entity. So where is it? Right here. Move it up, and we need to go to the Abstract Client Player Java in here. Okay, control A in here, then click the delete button. And then paste it in and click control S to save. Okay, dokie. So as we can see, it does all of this shit. And then right down at the bottom here, we can see cape URL here. So first of all, uh, so yeah, uh, first of all, we need to go grab this, which is the one you need for both clients. This is. Um, and uh, network player info. So if we go to here, and we go to, let me just double check where this is, public class network player info and uh, client network. So now we need to find network, then we need to find network player info, control A in here, delete and then paste in here, control C, control S even to save it. So yeah, this is all of the code done. Then we need to go to back to abstract abstract client player dot java. Okay. And then we need to go to Minecraft Capes. Then if we go to Cape Gallery, uh Minecon Capes. You right click here, click copy picture, and then we just double check here that it's, uh, it's in. So, yeah. So, you're back to Eclipse right here, and see where it says keep URL here. We delete that, and we paste in the picture we just did. Then we need to find this little run button here. Now, if you want to uh, log in, to this as we haven't got a, a a password thing you put dash dash user name and then we do like tree and then we click apply and we click save then if we click the little green button right here load up minecraft 1.9 1.9 And if we just hit single player and load the MCP world. And then we look behind us, we can see we've got our cape. Uh, uh, yeah. Hmm. Just a little log spike for a second. So yeah. Um, anyway, so that's how to do it. And then if you'd like to compile this, you go to file export runnable jar file next then 1.9 cape and then in this launch configurations you want the client not the server then you just hit finish okay and then you just install it like you would any other normal client uh, thank you very much for watching and goodbye